Well, for now, I guess we can stick to the usual uh, choice of path when it comes to uh, the Gen 3 remakes, right? Though we do want to go pick up um, Fly first. Then we can come back, I suppose, and uh, deal with the Snorlax. It's <sighs> gonna suck. Because Snorlax always sucks. I suppose I could just run away. That is an option, you know. It, it is faster. It just cheat me out of the experience points, though. Hmm. Uh, I I may have to go with it. You know, if it proves the if it proves to be a bit too difficult, I may just have to give up and go for the run. Cause it's not like he'll come back. You know, if once it's gone, it's gone. And I'm okay with that because I don't need it. Like if I was doing a normal run, yeah, I would definitely want to pick up the Snorlax because you know it's it is useful. I mean, it's far more crazily broken in, in Gen 2, but, you know, it's not bad in Gen 1, I don't think. Well, let's just use the Poke Flute and prepare ourselves to be attacked by a very hangry Snorlax. At least I assume it's pissed off because it's hungry. <laughs> like, I'm hungry and you just woke me up from my nap, you know. I'm like a cat. I gotta sleep for 20 hours. You know, so I'm prepared for my main snooze. Uh, let's see. We could go for sand attack, I suppose, and just be a dick. Oh, going for amnesia. Great. And which is why Snorlax is gosh darn scary. Because it's effectively negated all my special attacks now. Because it's it's raised its special at stat, you know, by six levels at this point. On the plus side, if it tries attacking me, I have effectively dropped its accuracy to what, like 50%? Or, or is the only thing this thing no, apparent oh there it goes headbutt. And it still hits me. Yeah, whatever. Let's see. Yeah, that's gonna take forever. Quick attack. Well, at least it can't attack while it's asleep, I guess. I'm gonna wish I had a freaking up Bulbasaur right now, right? So I can go for the Leech Seed. And just drain it. Come on, give me a critical hit, damn you game! <laughs> like... Uh... Well, maybe I should've tried Ice Beam while I was in that state. Hope I got lucky for a freeze. And this is why really don't like fighting Snorlax. It's, it's a freaking annoyance. Okay, we can try and get a freeze off, maybe. Though I think we only have like a 10% chance to do that, unfortunately. Which isn't a lot. I really don't want to rely on Water Gun here. Come on. Freeze it! Crap, it's resting again. Stop taking naps, you piece of crap! <laughs> Fight me! Uh, it's it's like no. That, that's why I'm a, a POC, man. Yeah, I should have switched back to Ice Beam. Oh, it's resting again. The sad part is Pokemon, you know, in Gen One, when you're fighting them, have infinite PP, so it will never run out of rest. You know, no matter how many times it does it, it can do this all day. That's why I need the gosh darn, um, freeze, because if it gets frozen, it can't defrob. Unless I use a fire move. Which was kind of dumb. Or we get a critical hit and we bypass the amnesias. Th that helps, too. <sighs> that was annoying. Please tell me you just auto-put me on the bike. Thank you. And let's just sneak past everybody. If we can. I, I prefer, you know, not fighting on this route if I can help it. Because fighting people is time consuming. Oh good, there's no trainer down here. But that one might be just unavoidable. I'm, I'm not sure, I have to get close to the edge to find out, but... Eh, it ain't worth it. That fight with Snorlax is time consuming enough, you know, and I still want to get over to the Safari Zone. Though we may end up going towards uh, the, the super uh, fishing rod before we go after Koga. 
Because having Surf will be nice, you know, it gives me another stab move, that's better than, uh, Water Gun. Oh, and now I get the freeze, when, I, when I'm not particularly wanting it. Well, it can't escape it, so, you know, at least it's an easy win. A muck, huh? Um, Discworld, you got anything for this muck? You still got Dig, right? It's, it's been a while since I messed around with this one. I've been working on Phantom Brave lately. Yeah, it does. Okay. Not on, um, doing episodes just yet, so much as, uh, doing grinding work. I've been trying to set myself up to work on the, um, post-game content. Which means spending a heck of a lot of time, you know, uh, grinding out items to fuse into weapons. So I've been going into, like, high-level areas, you know, I'm like, I gotta steal a couple of these, and these, and these, and move on for some fusion, then come back and steal some more stuff. Because I gotta go into creative dungeons at this point to level my stuff up. It's a pain. Kinda wish you could do certain fights in the post-game multiple times, so you could farm certain areas for high-level equipment, but I'm not far enough into it, I guess, to unlock one of those yet, maybe? Yeah, I know, going down here is kind of pointless, but... I guess, since we're going this way, we're just gonna swing by and jump. I may grab the good rod at some point, though. I might need that for some stuff. Oh, yeah. This, this isn't gonna leave me where I need to go. I need to cut this tree out. Yeah, cut it. I could walk around the long way, but it's just faster to cut down some trees. Come on. Get rid of that one as well. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I can definitely try and catch all the Pokemon I want. Yeah, I know you do. Your Safari Balls suck, man. Admittedly, they're just, uh, Pokeballs. So I probably shouldn't complain too much. Oh, joy, what'd we find? If, it, if it's a flying type, I may have to catch it, but nope, it's a Nidoran. I don't want no stinking Nidoran. Only reason I'm interested in a flying type is it'd be more convenient for, you know, getting somewhere. I, sh I should've caught Pidgey earlier. Uh, that's alright. I, I don't want a Nidoran. Male or female. Like, take it away. Oh, that's even worse. Paris is terrible. I ain't got no use for that. And hopefully the route hasn't changed. Sometimes there's there's differences between the the remake and the originals on route on routing, so it is a concern. And darn, I did not mean to do that. Well, good, we didn't catch it, and it ran away. It's it's preferable. I will take the TM, though. I forgot what this one does, though. Oh, Egg Bomb. Okay, that's garbage. Um... Well, it's garbage we're stuck with, I guess. Um, that's actually useful. I'll keep that one. After all, I can always use the full restore later in the game. Oh, I missed an item there? Eh, whatever. There's a lot of valuable items out here, just don't bother with most of them. Though I admit I might want to pick up Mimic at some point. Because in Gen 1, Mimic was a, a lot more useful. So it's actually a bit more worthwhile to pick up. Sadly, this isn't a, a Grass or Psychic Run, so I have no use for you, Execute. I wish I did, because... Executor's got some uses in it. Oh, a Chansey. Well... I'll throw a ball at it. Do we need it? No, but it is a rare find, so I will try and catch it. How do I keep missing the Chansey? Yeah, I was wondering when I was gonna run. Gosh darn, it dodged like five balls in a row. It's crazy. Well, good, good luck finding another one. Just right. 
<sighs> Admittedly, I might try harder to catch one if I was doing a normal run. Because Chansey actually does have some uh, utility on the offensive side in Gen 1. Because how the special stat works. I really need to stop tapping the button. Like, I don't want you, Paris. You add nothing. Okay, this is the right way. I'm getting a worry there for a moment. Like, what? Like, like I thought there was a turnoff point by now. Now, let's see. What does this TM do? It's been a while. Um, let's see. Oh, Skull Bash. Oh, that's not particularly useful. <laughs> I mean... I did run a Skull Bash um, back in the day on my Blastoise when I had a level 101 named Tommy, but I have to admit, Skull Bash is not a particularly great move. I mean, it takes two turns to set up, so you're going to let yourself get hit, you know, with a freebie. I could potentially ruin your attempts at doing the Skull Bash altogether if you get hit with Paralysis. Like, well, I'm fully paralyzed when I'm about to execute the damage part of the move, so I get to do absolutely nothing! It's, it's, it's a joy. Okay, we got ourselves some gold teeth. Uh, I guess I'll take that. I forget what TM this is, though. I know in um, the remakes it's double team, but in this gen you can... Oh, it's still double team, okay. Because you can buy double team, I'm pretty sure, at, um, in the freaking department store. I was going to say in Golden Rob, but like, this is gen 1, so it'd be Celadon, jeez. Ugh. <sighs> So we now have Surf, so we can cheat our way out of here, I suppose. Okay, can I exit? No, that's not going to help. Okay, we can at least use the HM to get over here. Maybe we can head back towards the uh, entrance real fast. Hmm. Yeah, why not? We'll get rid of, a uh, Bubble Beam. Cause Surf is just more powerful. And, uh, we'll use it again. Admittedly, we can't replace a move like Surf cause it's an HM, but... You know, Surf is always useful when you got stabbed with it, so, you know, I, I, I wanna just put it on now. So I have a better, you know, stab move. And let's just... Oh, I don't have the right badge yet. Gosh darn it. Um, I don't think I can quick exit, can I? I'm gonna have to kill this by just stepping enough times to get out. Gosh darn it. I hate getting thrown out this way, because it's tedious. Guess I can try looking for some items, maybe. I don't know if we got enough time to really find anything, though. Oh, a Paros? Oh, come on. You could have at least surprised me with a, a Tauros. I mean, I could at least throw a ball at that and be like, Oh, I failed. Big surprise. Because Tauros rarely ever gets caught by Safari Balls. <sighs> I suppose I could have tried looking for some hidden items, too, but... I'm not going to worry about it. Gosh darn, I, I don't want you, Rhyhorn. Oddly enough, Rhyhorn can learn Surf. Well, I can't remember if that was a Gen 1 or a Gen 2 thing. Well, they sometimes are just weird mechanics, what can I say? Yeah, this Safari game sucks. No, I didn't get anything. Besides, you know, some golden teeth. Admittedly, I can use those to my advantage, but still. Now, let's see. Let's just cut this one out, too, and deliver those dentures. Whew. Come on. Just let me in. And I don't think I can teach anyone strength unless it's a, my war turtle. I don't want to do that. Because Bai at least has a flinch opportunity, if I remember correctly, so it's, it might be a bit more useful for the moment. 
Then again, that is a rare candy over there, so it might be worth trying to get anyway. Yeah, Cutter can't learn it. It's fine. That'll do for this episode. Till next time, then. See ya.